In this lesson, we are going to create calculated fields. You'll see here in our form, we have our expense item 1, expense item 2, and our total line. To begin, we will scroll over to the right-hand side, and under our task section, we're going to click on Add New Field, and we're going to add a text box. We're going to scroll over and place our text box into position for expense item 1. And we're going to edit our, the size of our box as well. We're going to right click on the text box and left click on properties. Now this is an important item. The name that we call our expense item 1 is going to be the name that we use for our calculation code. So we want to type in the word expense 1 and we don't want any spaces whatsoever in the name. Next we can add our tool tip. We're going to go to our parents tab and we're going to change our font to 14. We're going to go and click on the Option tab. Because our field is going to deal with money, we do not want our alignment to be on the left. We want it to be here on the right. So under Alignment, we're going to click and change that to Right. And a default value, it'll be a value that will be displayed in our text box. We're going to put 0.00. .00. The next we're going to come to our Format tab and click on Format. And we want to make this a number. So here under the Select Format category, we're going to change that to Number. Because we're going to deal with dollars, we're going to leave it at two decimal places. We're going to leave the separator. We want our currency to be the US dollar. And here you see symbol location. If you scroll down, you'll see a real-time example of what your number is going to look like. So if I wanted to change my dollar symbol to be after my number with no spaces, I'll be able to see what it looks like. So I'm going to scroll back up here, and I actually want it before my number, but with a space. Now I can decide how do I want my negative numbers to show. I can have them show in parentheses, or I could have it as red text, or both. And we're going to do show parentheses. We're going to go ahead and click close. Go ahead and create a text box for expense item 2. This will be a great place to pause your video. Now that we have Expense 1 and Expense 2 text box, we're ready to create our calculated field text box for the total. Come up underneath the task, click on Add New Field, and again we're going to add a new text field. We're going to line it up into position, left click our mouse, and edit the size. We're going to right click on our text box and go to our property text box. We're going to come back to our general tab and change our name to total. Now we can add our tool tip. We'll go to our parents and change that to 14 points and click on our options. And again, because we're dealing with numbers, we want to align to the right-hand side. And we'll list the default value at 0.00. .00. Then we're going to come and click on our Format tab, change it to Numbers, to Decimal Places, the Separator, our dollar sign, 
and our show parentheses. Next, we're going to create our calculated field. We're going to come and click on Calculate tab. We're going to click the Simplified Field Notation and click on our Edit button. This will bring up our JavaScript editor. Now this is extremely important. You need to type in the name of the text box field exactly. So we have expense 1 with no spaces and expense 2 with no spaces. So in our JavaScript box, we're going to type in expense 1 and without leaving any spaces, we're going to hit the plus and then type in expense 2. As you notice, our JavaScript does not have spaces. Click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and close our form. Now when I come up to Preview and I enter our amount, tab to the next field, enter our next expense, and you will see that our form will automatically total our expenses.